Hi everyone, welcome to Story Says with me, your host Lady Dawn. Here's a new episode of a fairy tale modified to a fairy story by me. Enjoy! There was this girl named Emma who really hit the jackpot. She came from a blue collar hardworking family who lived paycheck to paycheck and had to give her up for adoption because they had too many family members. Emma got adopted by a very wealthy older lady, not Madonna, who spoiled her to the bone. So Emma became a spoiled vain brat, taking everything for granted. What Emma wants, Emma gets. Before she was adopted, she had a rough pair of red shoes. You know those ones made out of sky leather? Nowadays we would call it vegan shoes. Her foster mom bought her new ones, the red bottoms with a mid heel and finished with red glittery rhinestones. Girl, they were shiny! Emma was so hooked to her new shoes that she decided to wear them to the place of worship. That was against the rules, the adoptive mom told her. You were supposed to wear black ones. Emma told her that the previous pope was always wearing red Prada shoes, so what's all the fuss about? Even the devil wears Prada. And she knows high fashion. Go see the movie, y'all. Emma, spoiled rotten as she was, went to the chapel in her red sparkly shoes for Sunday service. When she entered the chapel, a mysterious soldier popped off, the big bad wolf had a day off, and he complimented Emma on her shoes and sang, These shoes are made for dancing, and that's just what they'll do. They never come off dancing once I glue them onto you. Ooh! Then he touched each one of the shoes. The soldier had severe post-traumatic stress syndrome and touching his the feet <laughs> touching feet was his fetish but you know touching a young girl's feet that's kind of freaky after the service emma couldn't help herself and started dancing and clowning right away as though the shoes were, were directing her she managed to stop for a couple of minutes but then off she went dancing like there was no tomorrow night and day her foster mom passed away and Emma was not able to go to the funeral because of the joyful dancing issue. In some cultures she was able to go because they celebrate the life of the person who passed away, but in Emma's case it was different. Anyway, tiredness kicked in and Emma decided to get help. She found a surgeon who could chop off her feet and that was the only solution she had. So after surgery, Emma is now walking with crutches and her shoes with her feet still inside keep dancing in front of her wherever she goes. She got cursed, man, big time. Upon this day, Emma is dealing with this issue, so when you see her, give her a shout out, a word of encouragement, or even better, help her find an excellent surgeon to solve the problem. Because Emma is tired, y'all. Really, really tired. If you listen to this story at night, good night, don't let the spiders bite. If you listen during the day, a little fun story is always a sunny ray. If you, feel, if you like, feel free to subscribe or leave a comment down below. So long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen. Hey!